Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get app screenshots. Go to the images, and we're looking for something like this. So the first thing you're going to do is pull up your simulator. So we are going to open up our terminal. We're going to CD into our project, and then open up our code editor. And then you can open up a terminal using Control Shift tilde, and we're going to run npx expo run iOS to pull up the iOS simulator. So then we can get our first screenshots. Okay, so once you have your app open, you can do Command S if you're on a Mac, or if you just go up here, you can say File and then Save Screen. And so we're going to get uh, two screens: the first second, um, the first screen, and then the second screen. And for Apple Connect, we'll want to get not only the iPhone 16 ones, but we'll also want to get iPad. Sometimes Apple will deny the listing if it doesn't have the iPad screenshots. So we're going to go iPad Pro 13 inches, and we're going to get that going. So we're going to make sure that's exited. And then we're going to exit out of here, and then run npx expo run iOS again. OK, now that it's run on the iPad, we are going to Command S again. Also, Command S on the high scores. Perfect. Now we are done with the iPad. I'm going to exit out of there. Now we're going to do npx expo run Android. So this will pull up our Android simulator. OK, now that we have the Android simulator, we're also going to do Command S, uh, take a screenshot, and Command S again. OK, perfect. Now we have all the screenshots, iOS, uh, iPhone, iPad, and Android. So now we are done with that. We can exit out of there. And so for the screenshots uh, for Expo, we have a couple different options. If we go to the, uh, the Expo documentation, um, we kind of show some examples. So the first example is literally just like the exact actual screenshots. And that's what we took. Um, super straightforward. Um, you can directly upload those, and that would work. Um, but most people will go with like either option two or option three, which is screenshots with designs, um, which is just like the screenshot, and then you add like a little text, um, and then you can make it like super fancy. Obviously, we're not going to do this. So we could upload the files we just took, the screenshots right now. With um, otherwise, we're going to do this, and um, so then you know how to do it. So then you have the right screenshots. So there's two different ways to do it. Um, there's one, this Figma template that I just opened up by Expo. Um, it's a nice template that shows the direct screenshot. So if you want to customize it to your own way, um, in the App Store and the Play Store, it shows the dimensions. So this is like a little bit more customizable. And if you're good with Figma. Otherwise, there's a lot of different services called App Screenshot Creators or Designers. Um, I actually use this one right here. Yeah, see, there's App on Page, App here, App Mockette, and Scribe. Um, I use App Screens. Uh, so we're going to go there, and I'll show you how to do it. So I'm already logged in. So if you're not logged in, you're going to have to make an account. So now I can go to the templates. And I already have it set to the free only. But if you don't have the free only, I would recommend this, unless you plan on playing, because otherwise it will cost you money to change it. So this will be the completely free. So we're going to copy to account, um, and we can just say our app project one, and then create. So now we can have our own, and it opens it up. So the first thing we're going to do is hit edit on this first one and hit devices. And this is where we're going to add our screenshots that we just took. So we're going to do screen one, and then we're going to do screen two, and then screen three to five. We're just going to not use those or delete those. So we have a screenshot one for the first screen. This will be our global screenshot, and I just chose the iPad one. Uh, we'll do the same one for the iOS, not iPad, I'm sorry, um, iPhone. And then we have the iPad first screen, and then we have the Google Pixel first screen. So we uploaded those. Now we're going to go to screen two. We're going to do the same thing. The iOS um, one, we're going to have our, as our global. Um, second screen for the iOS iPhone, and then iPad second screen. And Google Pixel Pro second screen. Okay, perfect. So now we uploaded all of them. We can hit save. Um, you can also delete these ones by hitting the delete button. Um, I guess I can just do that real quick. So just for makes it look nice. Doesn't take too long. Um, so these are be the two screens that we are going to be working on. Um, at this point, now you can change the text. So you can say the best game ever. Perfect, and as you can see, it changes it, and then 
screenshots that sell. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, but mainly subscribe. I think that's the best one for me right now. And liking, might as well. Uh, and then we are basically done. You can change the color, you can change however you want. Um, but we're going to preview and export. And we are going to download screenshots. And we're gonna hit global screenshots. Yeah, the global, so basically this warning is saying global screenshots may, may not be accurate for the uh, Android ta tablet it, because we used an iPhone screenshot for that. So that's why it's good to upload and get screenshots of the individual device. But basically hit continue, it generates a screenshot. And then boom, it automatically starts downloading it. And then you can go to the file um, that you have it and then you can click it and then now you just upload these uh, screenshots, like 01, um, inside your Apple Connect account. Um, and then as you can see, so you got the perfect screenshots So for Apple and Android. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it.